And welcome to this. My name's Gabor. Yeah, whatever this is. Yeah. Hey, um, I'm Alex. We're going to check out some guitar stuff today. This is the G6 from Zoom. Yeah. I'm uh, going to check it out, see what it does with some guitars, traditionally. Yes. And um, please hit like and subscribe first up. Give it please a thumbs do. up, dig that bell, and leave a comment down below the video. Please do. And, and this is provided awesome. by Zoom Australia. So this is what you would call a sponsored video. We don't get to sure. keep this. Uh, they just send it to us, uh, you know. For... So that means we have to say that through YouTube rules. Doesn't mean we're, we're told what to say. This is our opinion. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it's... Yes, Alex. <laughs> yeah. That is exactly yeah. what we need to say. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they're just lending to us to do the videos yeah. with, to create content. We don't get paid for it. We don't get to keep it. Uh, I think there's just a comment a... about, oh, it's sponsored video. It's all yeah. scripted. Yeah. And, no, yeah. It just shows up in the post it... and we play with it. Use your brains, people. That's okay. As far as it goes. Uh, so this is the G6 uh, multi-effects processor, um, as it's called by Zoom. Mm. So basically, it's a, a carbon fiber, highly modern carbon fiber, um, multi-effects unit with amp simulations and all that sort of stuff. So you're hearing everything today plugged in direct. So we're going directly into Logic via things there, uh, but basically directly into Logic. There's a whole bunch of different outputs at the back. I'll show a picture of all that sort of stuff. We're just using uh, guitar in and left and right stereo out. There's also headphone outs and all other stuff and SD cards for extended looper memory and all that sort of stuff. We won't use any of that. So we're just using it out of the box the way it is. So basically, yeah. Alex, G'day. would you like uh, for me to quickly uh, tell you about what all the buttons do? Yeah, we'll do a quick rundown. I'm sure there's heaps of videos doing all sorts of videos on this yeah. stuff. Also yeah. info. But basically, we're going to do some presets, how it works, and then maybe do some sounds and build ourselves. Build our own presets, That's yeah. That's the idea. But just general quick overview. Uh, basically, you have those four buttons on the bottom here, which currently turn on effect one, effect two, effect three, and effect four, which are color coordinated, which you can see on here. It also shows you very visually, and you can change all that as well. So this button turns that thing on and off. And if the light is on, it's on. This button does the red thing. It's also the red color, so it turns it on and off. This thing does the orange thing, and this does the green thing. You can change what you want to turn on and off. Uh, it's just, this is what it's assigned to. Um, now, you can also change what these buttons do via the play mode button up here. So currently it's set to effect board, so you can turn pedals within your preset on and off. But you can also push that, and then, and I think it's a very clever thing, and it's very simple and easy. It actually tells you what the buttons do. So now you can go up and down banks with this, and you can go up and down patches with this. So basically you have four patches per bank. Um, so you can scroll up and down the patches uh, or scroll up and down the banks with this. Uh, this is always tap, uh, or if you hold it in, this is also a tuner and there's two different faces you can use for the tuner, sort of a more stroby kind of looking one and all. This is, uh, uh, yeah, basically it's set to tap at the moment. Go back over here, uh, push it again, it's now memory. So now instead of being able to scroll through the banks, you just can go through the four different patches per bank. You can scroll through the banks by pushing the up and down arrows here on the touch screen. Um, so you can, for example, set up songs. You have four different sounds within a song. For the next song, you know, you go to the next preset, yada, yada, yada. Um, and lastly, you have your looper. And again, also tells you what all the things do. So it tells you that's record and play, that's stop, that's undo, redo, and that's clear. Uh, and then you go back to effects. It's yeah. pretty straightforward what it does. Yep. The um, This uh, expression pedal, you can assign to be one of these pedals to turn on and off via these pedals. There's also a button in here, which is a bit hard when you're sitting down, but there's a button in here, and you can see the light come on. Uh, you can turn it on like a wire pedal by stepping on it. It's a little bit tricky yeah, as you're sitting like here. Like a trad wire kind of switch thing. Yeah. And then you have these knobs, which, uh, so for example, you go to the amp, those knobs do what it says here. So this is your gain, this is your bass, this is your mid, this is your treble, and there's another page. But basically those knobs become what that does. They're not push buttons, they're just twisty twisties. Uh, now, very quickly also, timestamps if you want to skip ahead. There is a menu. If you swipe down, you go to the menu. Basically, uh, within that, you can change uh, um, effects order. You can change what effects you have. You can add effects, delete effects. You can change the name of all the effects. You can add a rhythm. So you've got a drum machine in here as well, which 
at 197 BPM is very fast punk. It's a bit early in the morning for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's in there, which also syncs to the looper if you use the looper, mm -hmm. so it syncs in with all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can change all the stuff in here. Uh, you can also then in here, uh, this is also a uh, 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 USB audio interface. So you can use it to record. You can work on a USB audio that goes in and out of this. You can set... Sorry, you can import your own IRs for you, you, the amp sim stuff? Yes, so you can import. Uh, there is a there is an, uh, like a software and app thing that you download on your computer, and it's just drag and drop. It's pretty straightforward. I may even have a quick video for it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you can also go to the next page, and then on the next page, uh, you have system settings. You can change the brightness of the display. You can also set autosave which we have currently on. So it just means if you do any changes, it automatically saves it. You can turn it off. Um, yeah. I think that's a good thing. So you don't have to a... remember to save all your minor like tweaks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can also go to tuner via this or, or by holding that button. And then you've got last page. And there you can sort of, it tells you what um, firmware there is and, and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it's all within that sort of stuff. That's just a, yeah, that's the menu. Yeah. Uh, let's get into some sounds. Cool. All right. So we're just in the um, like factory presets, aren't we? Yeah. So this is just Krampus. A one. Who was the A one zero one? He's the bad guy uh, around Christmas in Europe, in Central oh, Europe. Sure. He brings figs instead of chocolate. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So this this had a wah here, but none of these buttons are assigned to the wah, so you're going to push that. But again, it's a bit when you're sitting down and you do it with yeah. your hands, it's a little bit hard to do. So, um, and you've got noise reduction here on one of those. But basically, you've got a, a, a drive pedal. You've got um, what is this? An EQ, and you've got a reverb that you want. Yeah. Let's check out another. Actually, we can do it like this. Let's check out another um, preset. Pollux. Pollux. <laughs> So it's like a doubler. That's some stuff going on, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I think it's called the Gemin Gemini or something like that. Um, let's do a couple more and then go to our own presets. Yeah, sure. uh, Red Loom. Red Loom. <laughs> Yeah, so there's, I don't know, there's, there's this kind of poly shift thing happening there. An octave. Octave, a kind yeah, of man. polyphonic octave. Uh, let's do one more. Why not? Velvet. Thank you. 
let's say you wanted to not have the noise reduction on that. Yep. You wanted to have it always on. You wanted to have the wah on that. You push the little button that looks like a chess piece. And then basically what you've got to do is you've got to unassign this from that. And then you can reassign that. So this now has gone white. The color's gone white. So this has become the on-off switch now for the wah. The noise reduction so is always on. If you fix it like that. So that's just, like that, yeah. a copyright? Yeah, no, no, no. So if you want to reassign it, it's just doing that. You've got to unassign what it's assigned to first and then reassign it. Yeah, and you've got to spare um, that thing. So I mean, that's a couple of presets. Uh, let's look at some presets we've built. Ooh. And then maybe discuss uh, the choices we've made as we were picking the <laughs> things we picked for the preset. So what we can do is we can go to uh, this bank patch preset thing because they're miles away. <laughs> and Z, I think. Ah, there's Gabambient. <laughs> Let's start with Alex. So this is yours, right? Yay! This is one of your presets that you build. Um, talk, talk, talk us through what is there. It's a pretty straight-ahead rock and roll kind of rig. Well, give us some sounds and we'll... So, we'll oh, sure. And then, yeah, actually, let's do some sounds and then, then we'll talk about it. Okay. was yeah so there's a little bit going on but not too crazy or too obscure it's basically like a crunchy type bass guitar amp sound so it's a it's a the, diesel amp which is very yeah. you like a super high gain kind of diesel amp but with the gain turned all the way down actually one thing we should very quickly mention because you're using instead of you uh, so they're built in irs in here you can also import your own irs but then there's also these cabinets that are often paired with amplifiers but when you go through some of the presets, what can actually happen is, is that they're off. Oh, and then it will sound like this. Which is not particularly good. So some presets, for whatever reason, they're set off. I guess if you wanted to use it going into an amplifier and stuff, you would turn that off. But if you wanted uh, to use it direct, if it doesn't sound any good, just make sure, and it has, you know, like an amp, like a, cabinet thing like this you click on the cabinet make sure the mic is on it just sounds like and you can also pick between there's two different mics which one is emphasized more than the other just a just a quick thing sorry back to back to your preset oh sure it's um yeah Crunchy, especially with humbuckers, does get to crunchy kind of as a bass tone. Some verb going on, which is fairly long spring. Then we've got two delays. This is delay number one. Your everyday sort of household delay. Yeah, garden variety kind of thing for epic rock solos, which are 
everyone's scared of you before. And the other one's a ping pong thing, more ambient, I'd say, doing the clean digital ping pong left and right thing. <laughs> got a sweet drive yeah then we've got some boost hit in the front end which has um actually got some gain going on as well as volume yeah volume's off as well and sweet drive wasn't it yeah cool so pretty standard rock and roll rig and then sent all of it on oh, and it sounds oh, yes, like this yes, and the wire i'll play the wire for you would you mind <laughs> Because you can doesn't mean you should. I think. No, you should. You definitely should. Comes to mind there. I reckon now let's. Yeah. Uh, it's time to look at Gabambient. Is it though? <laughs> so, ambient. This is your Gabor's ambient patch. Gabor's ambient patch. Uh, and what what better guitar to use than a than a Telecaster for an ambient thing? Um, <laughs> I think I when I put this together that was for a low tune guitar, but yeah. So we're going to use this. This is the Fender Aerodyne Special Telecaster. There's a full video for it up here. Um, and let's just see what it sounds like. Um, I don't even really remember what it sounds like, but it sounds like this. So I, I chose a whammy because sure did. everyone should choose a whammy. <laughs> so I, I picked an ecstasy, uh, Bogner ecstasy style amp uh, with, I believe, um, yeah, and, and I, I actually imported a Celestian Greenback IR. And there's actually an affiliate, affiliate link in the description below. And if you click on that link and buy any Celestian IR via that link, uh, you help out the show. We you get become a, a You're better not, person. Much better person. Yeah. You're not paying any extra. You can Sales and everything still work. We just get a kickback from it. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a, a Greenback Celestian, um, uh, I think 4x12. And then uh, I think one of the problems I had was I was running out of CPU. Actually, one of the things you can do is you can, um, when you go into, uh, well, actually we'll do that in a second. When you go into edit effects, it shows you how much CPU you use. We'll get into that in a second. But um, I think I ran out. That's why I only have three. But... <laughs> I wanted a really big ambient reverb. Tones going on Definitely there. don't get him to do whammy stuff. Uh, and then I also have, because you need more gain, I have an Octifone. <laughs> Well, let's say, let's say hypothetically, Sounds let's like say, I was going through puberty. what do we do if we wanted to, let's say, we want to change the IR, right? Oh, yeah. What could we possibly do, that, right? That was rubbish. Uh, you click on that IR, you can't change it. Now, what you got to do, uh, you go into here uh, and you go into one of the first pages. Now, there are a whole bunch of different things that kind of all do the same. But if you click on edit all, you can kind of do all of it. In one, there's there's specific things for specific editing, but editing all can do all of it. So you can, for example, click on here, or not click on here, but you click change effect, 
and you click on this, and now we're changing the effect. See now, down here it tells you what the processor power is. So we're using 98%. Um, that's almost all of it. That's almost all, all of it. What? So he, here are some of the IRs I brought in. So for example, there's an angle 4x12. Ooh. If I wanted to use the angle 4x12 instead. Ooh. Or the IR empty. Well, don't use IR empty. Yeah. I went that one. So it gives you different options. You can... So let's... Oh, let's just say... Well, not empty. Let's just use the angle. Or you could, instead of that, you could change it to not being an AI, you could change it to be a, um, one of the other amps. So, for example, this is not ch uh, this is where you change effects. So, we click on this. We can go back here now. Uh, and here we can say bypass, filter, down amp, blah, 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 cabinet. We could go oh, press on cabinet. And, for example, we want a MS 4x12. Now, what we've got to make sure is when we go back... That sounds like the microphone's turned off. Before. Well, that's exactly right. So what we've got to do is we've got to make sure once we go back into here, we go to this and turn the microphone on, which is kind of silly, but... I mean, you can do that. It's just, that's how you change effects. Basically, the easiest way to do it is you go into here, you click on edit all. It tells you down the bottom what it is. If you want to add an effect, if you want to delete an effect, if you want to change effects, um, you can also change the order of effects. So you can just hold on to this and drag it. You want the reverb in front of the amp. Because why not? So you just drag drag and drop, basically, wherever you, you can have it in between your um, amp and cabinet. Or you can just say, I really want uh, to have... A 1-8. And I, the <laughs> IR again. I personally liked, actually liked... Uh, and then you got to scroll... Because these are all different IRs that are already loaded onto here. <coughs> you kind of got to scroll right down to the bottom. Oh, there's actually... Is that a Bogner 12 inch? That sounds kind of cool. Let's just go stick with that, right? So we've got that. You also, if you click on a little keyboard, you can rename it to whatever you want to rename it. But I mean, if you have a super awesome name, like no, no, that, 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 one. Oh, Gabambian one. No, it's, I think oh, that's out, we are. we're out of um, yeah, letters. Um, yeah, there you go, done. So that's the that's how you kind of edit it, basically, right? And then you just go back into here and you done. And because of the auto save, you don't have to worry about saving or. It updating. automatically saves. The downside to that is it that you can accidentally overwrite stuff, but you can also always revert stuff. So you can go. There is in here somewhere as well. I don't know exactly where it is, but you can go to revert to things. Now, very quickly, last thing we should also look at. Um, is uh, the play with the rhythm. So, you, for example, you can play it with a rhythm. We know Alex is a lover of fast punk. Maybe let's not 190. Sign that to a button. If <laughs> so, I couldn't see through you. The, uh, that's the best punk country I've played all morning. Yeah, P punk punk tree. Punk tree. Punk 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 tree. Uh, anyway, so you've got drum machine. You've got tons yeah. of different. You, you click on that again, <laughs> and you have you have tons of different drum patterns on here. You yep. can you know new wave it if you. Uh, oh yeah. Let's, oh, let's quickly check new wave out.
That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, you can play along with drums. You can just loop it without the drums. You don't have to have the drums. You can overdub. You can do all that sort of stuff. So there's tons of stuff to be done. But I mean, in a nutshell, that is basically it. What are your uh, thoughts on the whole vibe? Um, I think it sounds good. I'm a Zoom fan. Uh, to me, the whole it, it, carbon fiber, does it need to be carbon fiber? Look, I mean, it's definitely not carbon fiber. It's plastic. To me, that makes it gives it a bit of cheesiness. Sure. Um, and to me, this is plastic, and this does maybe bend a little bit, so that's something to... It wouldn't be, be... Jump across the stage onto the pedal. Yeah, just be yeah. aware of that. Um, so it is, yeah, a little bit on the on the bendy sort of plastic side of things. Medium. But, I mean, other than that, it, 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 the plasticness, I think to me, if this would have been um, like an aluminium unit, like the older... What were they, the G... G1, G2, whatever they were. There was the aluminium. We saw tons of them when I used to work at a music shop in the early 2000s. Sure. They were great units. Yeah. Uh, you know, the smaller ones, but they had the aluminium, not plastic. Mm. I guess that would also bring the price point up. But uh, I wish, that's the only thing I wish. Other than that, I think yeah. the sounds are great. Uh, it's fairly easy to use. Uh, I quite like all this. It's very self-explanatory where things are, what to do with it. Um, it works well with headphones, you've got drums, you've got stereo outs, you can extend the looper time uh, with mm -hmm. an SD card that you stick in there. Uh, you've got tons of presets. A lot of the presets sound pretty cool. Yeah, I think for me the its selling point is the user interface. Yeah. How easy it is to get around, yeah. especially with all these um, lit up LED things. And they change color, they're very bright. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, they change color depending on effects type. So yep. you get used to what, so green is there, reverbs blue is their delays yep. if you also use line six it can be a little bit confusing because line six green is delays and blue oh, is modulation yeah. but yeah. um you've got the different colors yeah i think it's super easy to use yeah all the menus are easy to get around it's a touch screen works well um yeah what do you guys think let us know under yeah. the, the videos yeah. the comment section discuss away um uh, the carbon fiber is a little bit of a vibe it is a, it, to me it, it's the thing that makes it kind of cheesier you know it's a, it's a cheese factor and it, it to me it takes away from the i'd almost prefer just a flat black yeah flat black or like a, like an aluminium or something like that even a, it's not in all honesty i think I, the plastic of the actual unit doesn't bother me if that was a flat black i think it would look better this would be nice if this was a not plastic if it was aluminium yeah. but even just that as plastic i don't think that would bother me but i do think the carbon fiber cheapens it Oh. The fake carbon fiber. That's just me. What do you think out there in the internet land? Let us know. Um, thanks again for hanging out and watching this far into the video. Yes, yes. Bit thank you. Thing. Thank you. Thank you to the lovely people of Zoom Australia for sending this out to us as well. And how about, Alex, Yo. now that we're coming to the conclusion of this video, oh, fantastic. that I might put a Zoom playlist sure. right here. Watch Th it. Thanks for hanging. Catch you soon on the internet. Bye.